Hey everybody, GC13 here. The Owl House started off Season 2B with a bang, by airing Follies at the Coven Day Parade. Oh, I can already feel the wheels in my brain turning. What's the next episode? I hope it'll be low impact, something that won't affect any theories too much. Oh, come on! All joking aside, I think we're going to be okay. While you guys have probably already seen Elsewhere and Elsewhen, it also probably didn't cover what I'm interested in from Follies. And if it did, don't forget to leave a comment! Follies at the Coven Day Parade was the perfect episode to mark the beginning of a new part of the season. It changed things. To a dizzying degree, actually. There's definitely more going on in the world of the Owl House than meets the eye, but at least some of those schemes are going to be revealed soon. The first big status change was Kikimura. And no, not her temporary flirtation with Wubi status because she was sad she couldn't go home. When Kikimura was first introduced, she was someone Lilith had to take orders from. Lilith may have been a coven head, of the Emperor's coven at that, but Kikimura was Emperor Bellos' assistant. When she spoke, Lilith had no choice but to listen. What Bellos wanted from Lilith was for her to capture Ida, and as she failed over and over again, things got even more dangerous for her. By the time of Follies, though, something has changed. Kiki is on thin ice. She's failed too many times herself, and she can't afford any more mess-ups. Just ask the Golden Guard how tolerant Emperor Bellos is of failure. That's where Terra Snapdragon comes in. Right away, Kikimura knows this is bad news. Terra! And what brings you out of your greenhouse, Hedwitch? Did you see the way she reacted to her arrival? Is this the same Kikimura who was happily bossing around a Covenhead in the first season? It's true, Kikimura was already pretty nervous at the start of the scene. Any unexpected guests would have worried her. But she also knew that Terra was a particularly dangerous person to be at the parade. Just look at Luz and Kikimura's escape. Everything is going well, nobody's following them, and Luz thinks they're home free. But Kiki knows it's not that simple. We're visible? We need to disappear again. If we're caught, she will end us. And she's right. Terra makes her big entrance on the hunt for Kikimura. If it weren't for Amity showing up, Terra would have killed Luz and Kiki right there. But as it was, they were able to escape. We don't know when Terra caught back up with them, but after she did, she waited long enough for Kikimura to make a decision, to betray Luz and hope for that promotion Terra had promised her. Assured of Kiki's loyalty, Terra stepped forward to save Luz and Amity. And right away I don't trust her, because she says Kiki would start a riot by hurting Luz and Amity. But there's no one around to see her do it. But the fact that it was Terra there, a coven head, acting as Bellus' enforcer against his own assistant was... unexpected. We've seen Covenheads brought in like this before, but from the way Darius spoke to Kiki Mora then, it was clear she was above them in rank. I know Eclipse Lake was a fiasco, but it's hard to imagine Kiki falling so far so quickly. But she must have. Terra was clearly enacting the Emperor's will. She would have much rather skewered Kiki and been done with it. Still, she took great pleasure in letting Kiki know just how tenuous her position had become. Before she left, Terra did say something else that changed things. The Emperor says he's looking forward to meeting you, human. Of course, we know that Luz has already met Bellos. I dare say their meeting was probably rather memorable. But it wasn't a mistake. Amity specifically called out that Luz had already met him, so we're meant to wonder what it means. I know a conclusion I've already jumped to, but whatever the reason is, it's going to be important. Season 2B isn't carrying on like Season 2A started. We're headed into unfamiliar territory. There's a lot going on, so make sure you keep your eyes, and your mind, open. What do you guys think? Has Kiki really sunk so low in Emperor Bellos' eyes? Or do you think Terra's part of a conspiracy? What did it mean when Terra said Bellos was looking forward to meeting Luz? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.